All right. This is yesterday's. Yesterday's. I didn't record it. We said it. Shavuot is a is the a propitious time, an opportune time to achieve everything that you want in improving Torah study and serving God in fear of God and love of God, and also to strive in tshuva, returning, coming closer to God without, but on Shavuot, this is the time to make the resolutions, to make the decisions, and you don't have to worry about the devil will not interfere. What's the devil? The devil is your selfishness. Devil is selfishness. The devil is the angel of death. The devil is selfishness. The devil is the, how do you say, the, the evil impulses and things like that. Don't worry. On Shavuot, the holiday of Shavuot, the devil is inactive, just like in the time of the shofar sounding on Rosh Hashanah and the holy day of Yom Kippur. <clears throat> we are free from our own evil impulses and devices. No interference. That was yesterday. Today, on the evening of Shavuot, the first Rebbe of Chabad said, it's a Pasuk on the Torah. Let me read the Pasuk. It says, this is that the Jewish people, God said to Moses, tell the Jewish people to sanctify themselves today and tomorrow, and then, and that they should wash their clothes. Wash their clothes. It means their clothes might have some impurities. Anyway, to wash their clothes. You have to make yourself holy today and tomorrow and wash your clothes. So the Rebbe, what's this got to do with us? Sanctify yourself today and tomorrow. That God does. You have to ask God help. Please, God, <clears throat> give me holiness. Give me a feeling that <clears throat> to be, I didn't say, devoted to the truth. To be, but that that's <clears throat> from above. Holiness comes from God. But washing your clothes, your clothes is your thought, speech, and action. That you have to do yourself. That's what the Alter Rebbe said. Very short. Sanctify yourself today and tomorrow. That's from God. Washing your garments, that comes from you. The son, the grandson of <clears throat> the first Rebbe, he explained. <clears throat> Sanctify them. This was said by God to Moses. Moses is in every generation. And Moses, they're able, the, the, the leaders of the Jewish people, they're able to sanctify the today and the, the tomorrow. Moses, the Rebbe, he's able to bring us holiness. But if you want to accept this holiness, you have to clean your garments. You have to clean your garments of thought, speech, and action. And this has to be done on your own. Like I said before, when you learn the Torah, you learn the Hasidut, it automatically fixes you up 20%, 30%. And the other 70%, you have to do yourself. Okay, that's yesterday. This is Friday, tomorrow, first day of Shavuot. The Baal Shem Tov passed away on Wednesday, the first day of Shavuot. This is and is buried in the city of Mezibuz. <coughs> Baal Shem Tov. The Alter Rebbe commented, Wednesday is the fourth day of the week. And the fourth day, on the fourth day of creation, God put the 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 um the sun and the moon. So it says Nitlu. Nitlu, he put them. But the word Nitlu can also mean to be removed, to take away. So it says Nitlu, it says Biyom Ravi, it says Nitlu, Nitlu, Aroros, that God took away the lights. The fourth day, that's the Baal Shem Tov. He was the light of the world. <coughs> Excuse me, and God removed him. That is Friday, first day of Shavuot. This is Shabbat. By you people outside of Israel, it's the second day of Shavuot. By us, it's Shabbat. How do the Kohanim, when they bless the people, how do they bless? This, that's this week's Torah portion, right? Uh, the blessing of the Kohanim. When, <clears throat> okay, but what about the, when the Kohanim, they do what they do? <clears throat> what are we supposed to do? We're in the crowd. What do we supposed to do? When the Kohanim say, Yivarechacha, you turn your face to the right. Yivarechacha Hashem. And then you say, Vishmarecha, you turn your face forward, Ishmarecha. So the first word you turn to the right to the right. The first word. On Hashem, you don't do anything. The third word, you go face forward. When they say your ear, that's the fourth word of the blessing. 
you turn to the left, <clears throat> and etc. In other words, every time you the, the there's another word, you turn right, left, right, left. Right. So the first word is to the right, then the then to the middle, then the second. You would say start begin the second blessing. You turn to the left, and etc. Okay, that is how you say the blessing, the Kohanim. Good. And that finishes today's classes. One second. Maybe 